Welcome back to the details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi inspected the development process of roads and access in Alexandria within the framework of Together We Build a Future initiative. The inspection tour included a number of new accesses east of Alexandria, including the newly constructed ring road near uh, Abu Qir city, which is to serve the urban extensions there. The new roads west of Alexandria included the, the Tamir access that was designed to have nine lanes in both directions. The head of the state also inspected four linking access on the coastal road that will be linked with the Tamir one. President Sisi gave his directives to commit to the scheduled timetable to conclude the, uh, the construction works while implementing the high standards of safety and security. Following the inspection tour, President Sisi was briefed by Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Medbouli and Major General Ahmed El Azazi from the Armed Forces Engineering Authority on the pace of construction work in the new roads and access east and west of Alexandria. During a tour, President Abdel Fattah Sisi met with an Egyptian family with whom the head of a state held a conversation over their living conditions. The social media platforms highlighted the conversation in which uh, the head of a state was keen on listening to the demands of the family and was briefed on the education stages of the family's children. More than 140 Palestinians were hurt on Friday in clashes with Israeli occupation troops in the West Bank village of Beita during protests against the illegal Israeli settlement outpost. Medics said that hundreds of Palestinians gathered in Beita, located in the north of the Israeli-occupied West Bank, to protest against the nearby outpost of Eviatar. The area has seen regular demonstrations against the illegal settlement expansion on the Palestinian land. The Israeli occupation army said over the last several hours, unrest was instigated in the area of Divat Ivaitar, outpost south of Nablus. It added in a statement that army, the occupation troops used the right dispersal means. The Palestinian Red Crescent said 146 Palestinians were hurt during the clashes, including nine by live fire, 34 by rubber coated bullets, and 87 by tear gas. Weakened by pro-Iran factions at home, Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa Al-Qadhimi will meet with American President Joe Biden on Monday to discuss a possible full U.S. troop withdrawal from his country. The White House talks between the two allies come just a week after a deadly attack claimed by the terrorist group of Daesh, despite Baghdad declaring the terrorists defeated over three years ago. Iraqi Foreign Minister Fuad Hussein, already in Washington for several days, has assured Iraqi media that the talks will successfully establish a timetable for the withdrawal of American forces. Most of the U.S. soldiers deployed in 2014 to lead an international military uh, coalition against Daesh left under Biden's predecessor Donald Trump, who hosted al at the White House last August. The troops that remain are officially classed as advisors and trainers for Iraq's army and counter-terrorism units.